The first candle is a basic candle. For this, I am taking a glass of this size. Step 1. Pour water into the glass. You can add some food coloring here or you can just leave it and go ahead and add oil. Make sure you add enough oil for the candle to burn. In case you add food coloring, this is how it will look. Next, take a plastic sheet and a pair of scissors and cut out a circle. Make sure the circle is smaller than the circumference of the glass. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It can be something that looks like this. Find the center of the circle you cut out. It doesn't have to be the exact center. It can be any point close to the center. And cut an X to fit the candle wick in. I'm taking a candle wick about this size. I bought a bunch of cotton candle wicks which help the candle burn better. Fit the candle wick through the X you just cut out and tape the bottom end of the wick to the plastic. Make sure you cut out the excess candle wick so that it does not stick out. Slowly and carefully place the candle wick into the glass jar. Before you light the candle, make sure the wick has absorbed enough oil to start burning. If not, let the wick absorb a few drops of oil and then light your candle. For the second candle, we are going to take a glass jar about the same size as the last one. And I'm adding a few red beads into the glass. After the beads settle, I'm adding lamp oil into the glass. You can use vegetable oil or lamp oil. Remember, the more oil you add, the longer the candle will burn. I'm using a slightly bigger glass jar and with it I'm using a round crystal which I thought will look pretty cool after the candle is lit up as this reflecting kind of thing inside it. I'm placing the crystal carefully into the glass jar and pouring water till it is completely immersed. For this candle, I'm adding red food coloring just to give it that fiery look. Add food coloring and mix it till you are satisfied with the color. Next, add oil as usual. I love how it turned out. It looks like a fireball inside a jar. For the next candle, I'm taking this artificial flower branch. As we don't need the whole branch, I'm cutting a flower in the size of the glass so that it can fit in easily. Once you cut it out, it should look something like this. I've put a few colored glass beads kind of objects into the glass. 
You can use pebbles or sand just to make the rose stand up. Or you can just skip it altogether. Then I'm placing the flower we just cut out into the glass. Pour water and oil as usual. When you are done, it should look something like this. Is it just me or does this candle remind anybody else of the rose that's in Beauty and the Beast? I think it looks pretty similar to that. That is all for today's video. We learned how to make four different candles today. Let me know in the comments below which of these candles was your favorite and which of these you'd like to make. If you like this DIY and want more of such DIYs, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, signing off, liking up. Bye!